um, welcome to another episode um, of JDT PC where I'm going to show you how to basically work with a product called Micro Light Body Filler. It's a product that's, that, um, that I buy from um, Paint Chem, uh, Auto and, and Industrial Coatings. Um, they basically supply that supplies you with uh, any uh, chemicals um, for boats panel beating um, basically mostly panel beaters buy from them but um, I'm in a taxidermy industry and uh, yeah so I use it basically fixing my molds fixing my castings using up using it to basically cover cracks holes um, if I don't use, use putty then I use this product okay so I've basically got two sides a left and the right hand side the left hand side I'm going to show you what happens when you mix too much of um, catalyst to this to this um, body filler and this side I'm going to show you how to mix it correctly bear in mind there's a time delay on this um, you can play with the hardener according to how many drops you want to add um, I rather recommend you, you play around with it a bit and then from there take it you, you'll see the reaction from different amounts of catalyst that you've basically poured into your mixture okay so this side I've got an old screw and dryer that I'm just using for this I'm just going to open this a bit now what you'll see is this is my catalyst it comes with the product I'm just going to screw it like I don't know what I'm doing what do they call us um, on the gaming shows? Uh, noobs. You're like a noob. <laughs> um, you don't know what you're doing. You're just playing around and irritating the other of everybody else. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm mixing the catalyst into the, the body filler. As you can see, it's like a uh, it's like a fluid. Um, it looks shiny. Um, it's almost waterish. Um, yeah, I've mixed it into there now. So we'll give it that time to see what happens. I'm just going to turn it. Let's rather keep it like that, otherwise everybody's going to get confused. Let's open that a bit up. This side I'm going to pour in 8 to 10 drops. In 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll put in 9 drops. Okay, so we'll mix it. What basically, what basically is going to happen here is the left hand side it's not going to um, harden up it's going to stay waterish it's uh, it's not going to work the, the, it's just going to it's just going to stay like that it's, it's going to stay mushy it's going to stay soft it's going to stay like a liquid it's not going to work on the right hand side when i've poured uh, nine drops you have about uh, two to three two to five minutes um, play time on it sometimes uh, depending on the heat temperature outside it's um, two minutes straight but um, other than that you just reduce your drops um, don't go on two drops or three drops rather use five between five to ten drops okay so i've mixed that now let's see what happens now as you can see this looks like it's foaming up that means i've added too much catalyst to the product um, which means that the product's not um, functioning correctly and it's uh, going to stay like a liquid form it's not going to go hard most probably later it will go hard when some of the catalyst has evaporated out but um, this product that I've mixed here it's not going to work for the purpose you want it to work for where you want to apply it it's, um, so it's basically going to waste your time you're going to waste material and you're going to get very negative when you work with this product uh, on an area that that it needs to dry so if it doesn't dry it causes you a lot of work cleaning work um, most probably going to throw away the project and start from fresh but um, yeah let's see this side as you can see this side is already starting to harden up it's now like a paste so now when this on this stage you can basically use any flat surface to flatten it off get it smooth right um, basically to help you when it comes to sanding it off it's already smooth so you don't need to sand it a lot um, especially if you put it on like then it looks like this then um, you're gonna have to sand a lot to get into those areas there or you have to make another batch of this body filler to close off that and then sand it over that 
Okay, but let's um, let's just see. It's it's about a minute and a half now on the right hand side, and about um, four minutes on the left hand side. If you see the left hand side, it's still fluidish. Doesn't seem like anything's happening here. Yet again, it's because of the um, catalyst that I've added. The right hand side seems to start working now. The process is a bit slower because of the temperature that I've got here at the moment. It's um, 18 degrees um, Celsius at the moment, so yeah, it's a bit cold. Um, but yeah, let's see. Just want to show you guys. This is basically what happens. Um, I had a crack here. Like that there. This is a piece of excess that um, that's here, but you can smooth it off with this project. Rub it on and just smooth it off. Okay, but this basically comes out of a Tupperware container. You can see it's just a recycled Tupperware. Uh, when it hardens, you just press it and flick it out. It just pops out. It doesn't stick to any plastic. Um, so yeah, this is what I mixed before. This one's already stone hard. Um, it's a, it's about five minutes to six minutes, and it's and it's hard. This side, still mushy. Ten minutes, it's still. I mean, this is basically mixing too much hard milk catalyst. It, 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 the process won't work. You can just throw it away. It's not going to work. Um, five minutes, ten minutes. You can see where you made the mistake and which one is working and which one not. Okay, um, please be in mind, you get a scent from this, so wear gloves, wear safety goggles, wear dust mask. As you can see it's already, I can play around with it now, it's already starting to harden up. This side, it's still watery, mushy, doesn't look like anything's happening. Give it some more time. <coughs> Guys, please bear, bear in mind, um, even the ladies, don't get this products on your hands or in your mouth or on your face areas or in your eyes. It's gonna cause you damage. So rather stick with safety. As you can see, I don't have gloves. You know, I'll have pictures showing you what what type of gloves you need for this purpose and uh, and safety goggles and dust mask as well um, but yeah this is just a sample to show you guys how it works but when you go into a bigger project where you can't control where it's running uh, you're pouring it over areas you need to wear PPE safety equipment and uh, uh, a uniform overall that can, that can protect you and keep you clean from this product Okay, as you can see there, it doesn't run anymore, if I shake it even, it, it's like a jelly now, left hand side is still soft, watery, this, this, is, this, this isn't going to harden, it's just going to stay like this, um, but yeah, I'm not going to go back to that, I'm just going to turn this a bit so you guys can see. it up a bit at this stage this is basically where you're gonna have to smooth it off like that you just apply it smooth it smooth it smooth it smooth it also before sanding this rather um, keep to about a half an hour to an hour before sanding it, it still stays um, sticky and it will just pack up your sandpaper. <laughs> um, in my next episode I'm going to show you guys what happens when you're mixing resin with this product. Um, when mixing resin with, with this um, body filler, it basically strengthens the product. Um, you also get um, where you can make a paste. We use this product with resin, 
with fiber strand. The fiber strand you basically cut into small pieces, you mix it together, or rather just break off the strand into a lot of strings, uh, like a like a wool sponge or uh, basically like um, cushion wool, and you just mix it together. It comes a paste. You put in your order, same story, different amount of drops, and um, you basically just work it over the area where you want to put it. Be in mind when you're using the strand with the resin with the body filler, it becomes stone hard. You're gonna have to use a flapper disc or a grinding blade with a grinding machine to basically smooth it off, and then only you can start sanding the product. Let's just see what happens here. This is now six minutes. It's almost almost at the area um, of the chemical um, procedure where you won't be able to work with it. It's just going to crumble up. So after this, now I'm not going to touch it again because it's just going to crumble up, and I'm, I'm basically going to waste it as well. But yeah. What I'll do is I'll show you, as soon as it's a bit harder, what happens if you start pushing it or playing with it, how it crumbles up. Let's just look at the, as you can see there, waterish, fluidish, waste of our time, waste of our money. Um, yeah, you don't want that. If you look at the other part, it's already starting to crumble sticky paste yeah, let's just wait a minute or two and I won't be able to play with it anymore just go back to this one again this is now 15 minutes as you can see 15 minutes it's still the same 10 minutes it's thrown out you can almost basically start sanding this now, but rather wait than half an hour to an hour, hour the most, um, half an hour at least, but yeah, then you can start sanding this. When using sandpaper, stick with a, a, a rough edge one, start with a, a 60 to 80, 100, 120, move up to 300, then a 500, 600, 1000 and 1200, 1200 and 1000, that's basically for polishing. And smoothing off uh, the 60 to, to 500 is to, to sand off the rough edges. Just want to see here, uh, still waterish, mushy. Almost hard. And guys, uh, another thing to keep in mind, don't use a heat gun or air dryer on this product. It's going to end up bad for you. You're going to throw away the product. You're going to throw away your, your, your area where you worked on. It's, it, it's, it's not recommended using a heat gun or air, a air dryer to heat up the process. Never heat up a process. Stay to room temperature. Stay to the temperature outside that you have don't hasten the process as you can see now I can't work with it now now you're just gonna it's just gonna as you can see that it's still a bit stick I can still work with it but it's it's now at the end we, we, we basically gonna have to start leaving it alone it's just gonna crumble up roll up it's already getting hard pieces in on the inside as you can see there there's a lot of pieces there that's hardened up already so yeah another minute or so then we're done with it okay so yeah now you can see Another minute, this is going to be stone hard. Um, so, but yeah, 
in a minute or so it will be hard then you will end up having this product okay so I'll make an ex- uh, another episode where I'm going to show you how to mix this product with resin and um, then after that mixing it with a fiber strand thank you for watching guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I know it's a long procedure video but um, you need to see all the details to understand the process I'm not going to cut out or edit the, the, the video uh, taking out the pieces that you don't see this is uh, stick to basics stick to DIY purposes purposes and uh, yeah please guys um, share this video enjoy it like it um, please comment on, on, on my videos and uh, if you need anything that you need more advice on or you need to know how to work with a different material just pop me a comment or uh, a message and I, um, I can maybe make a video on the product that you need me to show you how to use it thank you